You hear about that kid in the news? He gets through airport security with a knife and some box cutters, but I have to dump out my entire purse and have my tampons confiscated as weapons. <laughs> Explain that one to me. Oh, please. They took your tampons? They took my everything except my body hair and BVDs. <laughs> Sad or unbelievably mad you get a big lift When you're talking with The depressed Persian tow truck man Who's only allowed to fly on a plane If he has everything taken away from him Except his tidy whitey That's body hair? I just thought you were wearing a fur jacket <laughs> Well anyways, I'm sorry they took your everything Oh, they did not get my everything though Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> I'm sorry I cannot offer you one. I, I would have been able to give you one, too, if I hadn't uh, trimmed the hair around my... Uh, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> well, that's very clever of you, but I don't see why I should have to be that clever. Look at me. I'm a housewife. Now, how many housewives actually pose a threat to this country? My housewife, always. <laughs> she was supposed to be in your seat. But security would not let her on the plane because when they took off her shoes, her toenails looked like ten yellow box cutters. Well, I feel for your wife. Oh, please. You do not want to feel my wife. Her skin is like a shark. Smooth one way, razor blades the other. That's disgusting. Oh, that is nothing. When security ran the metal detector over the rolls of fat on her belly, they found $2,000 in pennies. Oh. Plus a TV guide from 1997 with Dharma and Greg on the cover. Please, stop. And for God's sake, would you maybe cover up all that wookie hair with a blanket? Okay, okay. <laughs> that better? You know, a lot of people like chest hair. A, a lot of people, they think that I'm like a, a slightly less hairy Robin Williams. I don't want to hear anymore. You're making me sick. You know, you sound like someone I know right now. If you had a chin beard and were gnawing on a leg of lamb, you could be my daughter, Debbie. Boom. Boom. I probably should not say boom. <laughs> Hello? I have a daughter, Debbie. Is she obese and violent? No. Is she stupid and a liar? No. Is she cross-eyed and judgmental? No. Does her mustache meet her sideburn? No. Different Debbie. Look, I hope you're not offended, but I'm just going to turn around and pretend to sleep. That's a good idea. Good afternoon, folks. This is your captain speaking. We will be taking off momentarily. However, there is a Middle Easterner on board, and I have officially crapped my pants. <laughs> what well, this is how it always is. I feel as out of place as how you say, hello, hello, a funny joke in Jay Leno's monologue. Please turn off all your cell phones and buckle your seat belts. Excuse me, sister, I just had a sausage McMuffin, and now it wants to take a swim. <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom, always. <laughs> He's moving! Oh, what, what are you talking about? You don't feel blue. You don't feel sad. You don't feel depressed, upset, or even slightly mad. Cause you got a chat with an even sadder cat. The depressed Persian tow truck man who just wanted to unload a sausage McMuffin but is now on his way to a federal penitentiary and one time on the way to the bathroom.